Mika, I gotta fix my hair. Real quick. How's it look? Pound it. Yes, bitch. <laughs> you have eye boogies, you don't look- Oh my god, you have boogers. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I have my co-star here with me, Mika. She's mine and Kyle's fur child. Oh, oh, thank you. She does that automatically when you have treats. She knows that you want a handshake or a sit. Do you want to do the intro? What are you looking at? Oh, okay, you want another one? Okay, good girl. Too Faced sent her a whole birthday cake. Her birthday isn't until like March, April. You're just living the life, aren't you? If you do this intro well, I'll give you more treats. Okay. Today we're filming a Get Ready With Me in celebration of the Too Faced Clover Palette launch. Too Faced recently launched this palette and donated $250,000 to Best Friends Animal Society. And Mika and I filmed a really cute video for their channel. She's here to show you how she gets her perfect eyeliner. <laughs> She has better than sex mascara on in the white edition. It's not out yet. Found it. She just left like the biggest drool on my knee. It like blobbed out of her mouth. Does it look like she's staring at the palette? Yeah. Give me a kiss. Oh. She was such a star that I had to have her back on today. And yeah, this is the look I created. I'm gonna wrap this intro up pretty quickly because I don't know how long she will actually sit here for. Don't lay down. If you guys are interested and want to see how I create this look, just keep on watching. Want to say hi? Up here. Yes! Good girl! Oh, rudeness. You don't have to stand there, Mika, the entire time. All right, I'm going to start by priming my eyes with the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. I'm just going to go ahead and swipe that all over my eyelids. I'm going to be so distracted just staring at Mika. She's so funny. She's really well trained. She has really good manners. She knows all her commands, but if you're not familiar with Huskies and the breed, they're really rebellious. And I don't want to say you can train them easily. They take a lot of work, but they're very reward driven. So unless you have something for them, they won't perform the commands. So Mika is very, she's driven by food. So if there's food, treats, she'll do whatever. If you have nothing for her and you ask her to do uh, certain commands, she'll do them a couple of times and then she'll just get over it. Okay, I'm gonna go into the Clover palette and I wanna create something that is wearable. I know there's a lot of fun colors in here, but I have done already two other tutorials using some of the fun colors, so I'll make sure to link Too Faced's channel um, within this video so you guys can check those out. I wanna create something that is sort of rose gold, really light and pretty, but still has a dramatic-ish aspect to it. So I think the color I'm gonna start off with first is Fur Baby and Chihuahua. I'm actually gonna mix the two together to lighten it up a bit and I'm just gonna apply that to the crease. Before I do that, actually, I'm gonna grab a powder. I've got all my makeup right here to this side. <laughs> I'm gonna dust a little bit of this La Mer powder around the brow bone down to the crease to make blending a lot easier. I actually like filming here. It's much more relaxing. I feel really comfortable. I don't actually feel like I'm filming. When I film my normal beauty tutorials, it's kind of hard to just sit there and talk to camera in silence with one big light on you, but for this video, since Mika's here and I'm really close to the floor, I have the table or the table's adjustable, so I'm pretty close to the ground just so that we could get glimpses of Mika. I'm again mixing these two together and just applying it to the crease. Are you snoring, Mika? Oh, she has the hiccups, my baby. I freaking love this dog. Words can't explain how much I love Mika. She is my, she's literally my child. She's my fur baby. I'll do anything for this dog, literally anything. I love her so much. I think all of you out there who have pets, your fur children, you probably feel the same way. It's funny because I feel like when I first had her, uh, she was my first dog aside from a family dog. Growing up, my family had an American Eskimo or Samoyed. American Eskimos, I think, are tiny and Samoyeds are like the really big, white, fluffy, polar bear looking dogs. His name was Frosty. He was a little more towards the smaller side. But um, yeah, Mika was my first dog or is my first dog on my own or with Kyle we got her together we got her three months into dating <laughs> she came pretty quickly in the relationship and she's basically been a part of our entire relationship which is pretty awesome because she's been through it all through all the apartments through the ups and the downs she's been with us since day one and I just love her so much I'm gonna go in with love is love next Actually, I'm gonna mix these two and apply them to the crease as well. If someone doesn't like Mika, 
I don't like them. I judge you right away. If you don't like my dog, I don't know if we can be friends. So now that I have that pink on there, I'm gonna take a clean blending brush and just really diffuse it into the crease. We don't want it to come out too dark. We want it to, again, be soft and pretty, so I'm just gonna really diffuse out this color. I'm gonna pick up some more of Fur Baby, the darker or the warmer brown right here, and just, again, work that into the crease. Okay, next I'm going in with this Makeup Forever Aqua Excel color paint. They're kind of like a multi-use, multi-purpose cream color. This one's really, really pretty. It's like a soft, beigey pink color. It's gonna work perfect for creating that rose gold effect. And I'm just gonna take a concealer brush and apply it to the lid. If you want to do a cut crease, you can cut the crease, make it look more defined. I'm not a fan of cut creases because I get this double fold. They just don't look good on my eyes. So I'm just gonna lay it on the lid and then kind of blend it into the shadow. So I'm just gonna go right here. Look how beautiful that color is. And into the crease. This is also why I used Too Faced's uh, Shadow Insurance as a primer because it's so thin. You don't wanna use anything really heavy to prime with because if you do that, then add a cream like this on top, it just feels like a lot on the eyes. So Too Faced Shadow Insurance works great. I'm just gonna go ahead and further blend this in. And then while it's there and still a little wet, I'm taking a LH 304 brush and just buffing out the edges so you can't see where it ends. But again, if you wanna cut crease, go ahead and cut that crease. And then for some more definition, I'm gonna go in with Cuddle Buddy. <gasps> because you're my Cuddle Buddy. Oh, okay. I'm gonna pick it up on a small eyeshadow brush and just apply it really close to the lash line. Get it on there and then blend it out. This next step I am super excited for because I've used this in a previous video, but I didn't use it to its full potential. These are the Natasha Denona Chroma Crystal Top Coats. This one is in the color this is in the shade Peach, and they are just beautiful. They are very similar to the Super Shock Shadows by ColourPop, so if you know of a dupe for this shadow, let me know. However, um, these I feel like go on really, really sheer, whereas the Super Shock Shadows by ColourPop go on really pigmented. Let me just swatch this on the back of my hand so you guys know what I'm talking about. So, okay, don't mind that. That's the cream color, but look at this on my skin. See how it's really sheer? I'm gonna pick it up on my fingertip and press it over that cream color I previously applied. So I'm just pressing this onto the lid and blending it out towards the shadow on the outer edge. And then again, same brush with the brown eyeshadow and just buffing out the edges. Okay, I'm gonna move on to the skin. I'm gonna prime it with my Smashbox primerizer, which, can you believe that? Look at how empty it is. I've gone through this so quick. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and apply that with my Fenty foundation brush. I love this brush. It's like a kabuki brush and a paddle brush had a baby and I love paddle brushes. Not really into kabuki brushes, but I like this combo. And then on the T-zone, I'm gonna use another Smashbox primer. This one's pretty new and it does a really good job at keeping everything really smooth, um, really tight, no pores. Um, this is the Smashbox Photo Finish Iconic Primer Sticks. So I'm just gonna apply that to the T-zone. And then another thing I like to do before going in with foundation is adding a liquid highlighter to the high points of the face. And this one to me looks pretty rose gold if I remember. Eh, it's like peachy gold. This is the Milani Contour and Highlight Cream and Liquid Duo. I love this product, however, I never use the actual contour side. I always use the highlighting side. So I'm just gonna apply it right here. Do, 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 do. See how it matches the eye look really well? Um, I love doing this because I feel like it kind of just pokes through the foundation. Give like a lit from within glow. And then I'm just gonna pat it in with my sponge. Mika heard Kyle in the kitchen, so now she's like all amped. She thinks she's getting something. Since Kyle and I both work from home, I feel like she's just such a source of entertainment. And um, anytime she hasn't been here, like we've gone on a trip and she's still um, at my mom's or uh, with whoever is taking care of her when we get back, the house just feels empty. It feels so sad without her here. And we find ourselves, uh, you develop these habits or routines around your dog that you don't really notice or realize until they're gone. So waking up and walking her, feeding her, just taking a moment to play with her. Or whenever I open up a bag that has that crunchy sound to it, like a bag of chips, you know that you can turn around and Mika will be there. Even if it's not food, she'll come running. So when she's not here and you open something or you go to the kitchen to eat and she doesn't show up, it's so sad. For foundation today, I'm gonna mix my Born This Way foundation in golden beige, which is normally my color over summer. Too dark for me now, 
I've already lost my tan. I'm gonna lighten it with Born This Way foundation in almond. So I just apply it with the brush first since it already has the foundation on it and then I'll blend it out with the sponge. What else did I wanna tell you guys about Mika? I guess I just really wanted to make a point about Huskies in general because I get a lot of questions about Huskies since I obviously, clearly, I have a Husky. Um, but I get a lot of DMs about Huskies how they are as a breed and uh, their personalities. Do they shed a lot? How crazy are they? And it's usually from people who want a Husky and I feel like they want a Husky for the wrong reasons. So I just really wanted to emphasize in this video that you should always research all the different breeds before you get a dog to make sure it fits your personality because if you're someone that isn't active, you don't like going on walks, hikes, jogs, um, you don't like spending time outdoors, a Husky is not for you. They are not meant to be indoors. Kyle and I live in an apartment and we make it a point to take her out three times a day and on longer walks, jogs, hikes, we really try and tire her out because we know that she's not meant to be indoors and so I feel bad that you know, I can't provide her with a house with a backyard just yet, but that is the goal in life, to get Mika a backyard before anything else. Yeah, if you don't like all those things and you get a Husky and you just trap them indoors, they're not gonna be happy. When you see those videos of Huskies that have destroyed houses and walls and couches when being left home alone, it's usually because they're bored. They need to be stimulated. They need to remain active. You just really need to tire them out so that uh, they just sleep and relax and chill all day. That's why Mika, um, everyone's like, how is your husky so chill? How is she so calm? She's always just like chilling on the bed. That's because she's tired. We make a point to tire her out so that she is like this all the time. If not, she can go wild, trust. She doesn't destroy things. She's never destroyed like a wall or a bed or like any of our furniture, um, but we call it her zoomies where she just kind of like zooms around the entire house, like on the couch, on the bed. She gets super hype, super lit. Basically, don't get a dog just because they're beautiful. This happens a lot with Huskies. It happened a lot during Game of Thrones when it first came out because of the dire wolves. People were getting wolf looking dogs and then all of them were ending up at the shelters. So if a Husky does fit your lifestyle and you know what you're getting yourself into, check your local shelters because so many Huskies get abandoned there. A lot of them, they're known for being escape artists as well. Mika has never, well, I'll get to that story in a bit. Um, but they're known for being escape artists, so if you don't have a high enough fence, they will most likely get out of your yard and they just keep on running to the point where they don't know where they're at once they're done running and then they end up in a shelter. So make sure you check the shelters first because there are normally some really beautiful huskies there that need a loving home. Next, I'm going in with a color corrector on the inner corner of the eyes. Not that I need one, I just really like how much it brightens the inner corner of the eyes. I'm using this Tint Idol Ultra Wear. I believe that's how you say this by Lancome in the shade Bisque, which is a really great correcting shade. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and apply a tiny, 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 tiny amount to the inner corner of the eye. And I'm gonna blend it out with my baby beauty blender that I've been obsessed with. <laughs> and I'm also going to cover up, correct my sunspots. I always do this step because uh, they're so annoying. I'm finally getting IPL, which is a laser treatment to remove sunspots. My big sis from my sorority back in the day, turns out she does that kind of stuff now, IPLs, um, any kind of, I don't know what you call those people, like skin treatments, I don't know. And we're gonna do IPL treatments on these sunspots starting next week. I'm going to document the whole process because I just think it'll be really cool to document the whole process, start to finish, a before and after, what my sunspots look like before, during and after treatment. She said all together it's gonna take three different treatments until they're, I think they're gonna be completely gone. I don't know if they're gonna be there, just less obvious. Again, that will all be in that video as I document it. Maybe I'll, um, I don't know if I'm gonna vlog it every time I go or just sum it all up into one video. Maybe I'll just include that in my vlogs. Let me know what you guys think I should do, but regardless, I will be documenting the whole process. And then to actually conceal and highlight down the center of the face, I'm using two different shades of Tarte Shape Tape um, to give me like the right highlighting color. I'm using light neutral and light medium. I finally restocked on my Cover FX Perfect Setting Powder, the tiny travel size one because they were all out of the uh, full size. I just, I forgot how much I love this powder. It's so good. So I'm just gonna go ahead and first press this underneath the eyes with the Beauty Blender and then use the LH Cosmetics Poof across the entire face. Oh my God, I already see Mika's fur on my face. Oh yeah, to answer the question about the fur and the story I meant to tell you guys. The fur is out of control. If you have a Husky, 
you have fur everywhere. It doesn't matter how often you vacuum, how many lint rollers you have. It's just everywhere. It's crazy. No matter how much you brush her, and she hates getting brushed too. It's kind of a pain in the ass to brush her because she doesn't like it. But the fur is everywhere. So if you're really not into fur, not having it on your clothes, on your couch, on your guests when people come over, <gasps> a husky's probably not for you. Yeah, if you're not a fan of fur or you can't handle it and it's really gonna annoy you, don't get a husky. And for bronzer today, I'm using this Hourglass Ambient Nude Bronze Light. I'm trying to use new bronzers since I use the same ones all the time. It just, you know, get stuck in the habit because bronzer is so difficult to find the right shade. This one's a little warm, but it seems to work, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use this. But going back to that story I wanted to tell you guys about Mika not being an escape artist. Well, the day that we went to Too Faced headquarters to shoot that video I mentioned in the intro, we get to Too Faced headquarters, they have a cute little dog run that's enclosed. They are a dog-friendly uh, company. Everyone there brings their dogs to work. So we let Mika run around in the dog run. The first time we just let her run around, she has fun, we go and film. She did so good at filming and just being a, a good girl. She was a good dog. So we're like, okay, for lunch, let's let her run around in the dog run again. So we take her out for a second time. She's having fun, running back and forth, playing around. And all of a sudden, she freaking just jumps over the fence, which wasn't that high to begin with, but she just has never attempted it, so I didn't think she would do it. The fence kind of went up to my shoulder and I'm five feet tall, so it's probably like a four and a half foot, four foot fence. It was a, like a brick wall, not like really a fence. But yeah, she jumped over it without a problem, like just pew. And you can imagine me, I was just like <gasps> terrified because the freeway is right next to their offices, so I just pictured Mika running onto the freeway. I was literally, I was just panicking on the inside. Kyle, without even thinking about it, just whoosh, jumps over the, the fence or the brick wall and immediately just grabs Mika, throws her back inside and is like, go inside. Like she's done, she's grounded. So that's the story of how Mika became an escape artist. She clearly cannot be trusted. <laughs> Today, I actually feel like further chiseling out the cheeks. So I'm taking that same Cover FX powder to cut the cheek. And then for a highlight to stick with that peachy rose gold color combo, I'm gonna use this Ciate Starburst highlighter. On camera, it looks really gold, but see how when I tilt it, see the peachy pink reflect it has? So this is gonna be perfect. I have been obsessed with this Sigma brush. I keep talking about it. It's the Sigma Spotlight Duster. It just applies highlighter really lightly and not concentrated in one area. So I just kind of sweep it onto the face like so, not too heavy, and it gives just like the right amount of glow. And then for blush, I'm using this Too Faced Love Flush 24 Hour Blush in the shade Love Hangover. And I'm gonna use that same brush I used to apply the highlighter. Again, I just really love the way this lightly sweeps powder onto the skin. It's good for kind of like a multi-purpose brush for um, setting uh, the entire face with powder, for touch-ups, highlighter, blush. I don't know if you can really bronze with it. It might be too like skinny, but it's definitely a great brush. I'm gonna do my brows off camera really quick. I'm using the same Dior brow styler that I use all the time just because I don't want this video to get too lengthy. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then uh, finish the eyes and the lip. All right, now I'm gonna finish the lower lash line really quick and it's gonna be super easy. All I'm gonna do is apply this one and then a little bit of this one. And then the last color I'm gonna use in this palette is Cuteness Overload because Mika is a cuteness overload. And I'm gonna use that as an inner corner highlight. I'm not gonna use any false lashes today. I'm just gonna load up on a ton of Better Than Sex mascara. And to finish this look, I'm gonna go super nude. I'm going to outline my lips with number 36 pencil by Bite Beauty. And then I'm gonna fill in my lips with I Wish Hourglass, what are these called? My Confessions, Confessions, Secret Weapon, something like that, lipstick. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video even though Mika was Clearly sleeping through a majority of it. Thank you Too Faced for donating to Best Friends Animal Society. Thank you for having Mika and I be a part of this launch. It is something that I will remember forever. Um, I cried, I didn't even tell you guys that story when Too Faced actually 
released the video and showed it to me um, when it was gonna go on their channel. I opened up the video and the part where Mika pops up, I started crying. I was showing it to Kyle, I'm like, why am I crying? I was just so proud of her. Such a proud mom moment. I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you guys check out the palette. And I think that is all I have to say today. Um, give it a like, share it, subscribe, hit the notification bell. And Mika and I will see you sometime soon. Bye guys.